In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to create your room inside of Blender as an asymmetric render, just like this one, which I just made. So this is actually what the final result will look like. And if that looks cool, then strap in, uh, fire up Blender, make sure you enjoy. Cheers. Cool, so here we are over on the PC. So over here, what we're going to do is, so an asymmetric room is basically where you have it in a position similar to like this, okay? So the camera is actually in a pretty good spot. So you can just change it to orthographic and it's actually in almost a perfect spot for a asymmetric room. So don't delete the default cube because you can still use it. So go to edit mode. So I've got edit mode, select the vertices in the front and then go X vertices, okay? So now we have a room and this look okay so let's go to rendered and then split our scene in half like this so this is going to be our rendered side so we can just turn off the overlays like that and then let's just set our resolution to 1000 and then on the camera you can go change the orthographic scale like that so we have it more zoomed in and then let's go change the world color uh I'll pull in a HRA image, which is basically just a 360 degree image. Yeah, I'll link some down below, or I'll link a little site where you can get some for free down below. So I'm just going to press open and then go to HDR. And I usually use Kloppenheim. So you can see, just get some nice basic lighting. And I also like working in cycles. So I'm just going to change it to cycles. Uh, just change it to like one. Let's delete this light over here. And then we can go. I'm actually going to make this darker, so 0 0.5, and then go add in a light stun, okay? And then go left, uh, is it left? Yeah, left. Rotate, so maybe too much. Okay, cool. So now we have some basic lighting. Maybe change the angle, so make it a bit softer. Cool. So this is our basic scene. So let's go add a some thickness. So just add, click on the cube, go to add modifier, solidify, and drag this up to like one point, whatever. Click on even thickness, and there you go. So now we have some actual walls and floors. So what can we do now? Well, say we wanted to make a bedroom. Um, I'll just make my bedroom like very simply. Um, maybe turn just, just material preview for now, like that. Okay, I'm gonna select the floor like this, Shift D, and then P by selection. Now we have our like a floor just to we can resize and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna make my bed. So I'm just G X resize like that. Okay. And then you can go extrude up Z. This is gonna be for the bottom, so like the, the base. Okay. Maybe drag it up slightly so it's off the floor. Because it'll have like wheels or whatever. And then uh we can just go add a new material, changes to be black, like that. Okay, and we can go uh, shifty, or actually in object mode, shifty Z. Maybe go scale this down slightly. We can remove the texture, and then I'm gonna bevel the bottom of this one. Just Control B. Actually, I'll leave the bottom unbeveled, but like the mattress and bevel that, and then I'm just gonna make it shorter, like that. Okay. Uh, maybe you think it's too long. Let's just drag it in. And then there is the bed. So what can we do after this? So to add like a pillow, you're going to just select the face, shifty e, P. And then let's just go select each one, merge at center, center, merge at center. I'm pressing M to do it. Uh, and there, okay. So now we have a square, so we can change this to be the pillow. So then extrude up, G, Z, like that. Okay, you can even add like some edge loops if you want to change the slides. So something like this. You can kind of make it whatever shape you want. And then I was going to go shift D and then rotate to have a second one. So drag it up like that. And then maybe just rotate it. Okay. There. So now we have two pillows. Um, just simple. Okay. And then, so now we have like a basic bed. So next off, let's just go add in like a desk. So plane, scale down. So like this, G, X. So it should be like this heart. And then just go add a splitter Okay. And then let's go add some cubes. Scale down. And then I'm going to turn on vertex for snapping. 
Okay. And then GZ, drag down. And then let's just go Alt D to duplicate. And then you can see uh, if we do this. Now, if we go to edit mode, you can see we change both of them at the same time. So that means that they all link to each other. So let's just go G Y shift. Uh, right. Yeah, and then Alt D, X, Alt Control to snap. Okay, and then we can just go G Z, just drag down to the floor. Okay, and then just go Alt S, just like shrink. Okay, or just scale Shift Z. Okay, there. So now we have a table. Maybe drag it down a bit. And then I'm going to go add in a, another cube that's going to be for a monitor. Scale, scale Y, X, okay, scale, scale Z, and then there, maybe like that size, and then rotate, okay, cool. That's kind of my monitor sound, uh, setup, like that, okay, and then we can go add in a stand so i'm going to go shift a circle i'm going to change this to six uh, scale down and i'm going to put it behind the desk like this and then gz extrude z scale shift z so let's actually select all of this okay and then g x to so drag forward okay Scale shift Z and then F. Okay, so th what this is, this is my monitor arm that I have to connect them together. So I'm just going to add in some cubes. This is going to be for the arms of itself. So we can just, doesn't have to be that complex. Don't even really need to add it actually. Let's just not add it. Simpler. Okay. I'm actually going to just drag this higher. Okay. And then maybe a bit thinner. So there you go. So now we have the monitors. Uh, if you want to add some details, you can just go R to inset. And then scale Z a bit more. And then extrude it. If you want to just check what it looks like in Eevee, just add some depth of, uh, what's it? I mean, fusion. And yeah. Okay. So let's just start assigning some materials. So you can just add the same ones or actually make it its own. You can start naming it to the monitor and then add another one. Uh, screen, screen, sun, and then we're going to make this a emission like that. Okay, do the same thing for the other one. Screen, sun. I set this pool to be black, like the bed. And then the tables as a black, legs black. Cool. So then, for the bed, we'll leave it white, pillows, bottom one is like a grey, uh, the back is linked to that as well, and then the top pillow is just like a dark grey. And then we can add in a, uh, what's it, a bed, like a, what's it, a duvet. So I'm actually going to class sim this, let's just subdivide, simple, like give it a couple subdivisions. Give it cloth. Okay. Then set the click the mattress and then go to cloth. No, not cloth. Collision. Okay. So now press space. There you go. It goes on simple. Uh maybe add one more. Like that. And then we can just go triangulate. Like this. Okay. Wait, well, not triangulate. Uh decimate. Okay. Drag this down. Okay, and then we can just go apply, apply, apply. Okay, just go with some simple like physics. And then let's actually just make it its own color, make it slightly lighter. Actually, we can give it material 002 because that's what the pillow is, they have the same color. Okay, and then just add a subdivision, just a small detail, but whatever. For it to actually have like this. Cool. And there. So I'm actually going to drag these monitors up even more. And then we can also. I have a window. So I'm going to go R. Insert. 
G Y G X no Y G Z X faces. Okay. So let's check what this looks like in cycles. This might actually just make it rotate Y. Okay. And then we can also go actually let's just change this to a area. Alt R or X ninety. Not X R Y ninety. Control M Y X. Okay. Cool. So there. So now we have been pointed in. Let us just scale this up. Okay. So now we can drag up the. Okay. Let's give it like a slight orange daylight, and that looks okay. Okay. And then let's give the room some colors. So I'm going to select the ground. And I'm going to, well, I'm going to select the whole thing, uh, new, that's going to, so we're going to have one for the walls, new, one for the ground, and then let me select the second one, sun, then we can change the color, you can see like that. So I have like the start off color carpet, like that, okay, and then I'm going to go add in a keyboard, so that's what's going to be shift A at cube scale. G Z X and cut edit mode G Z and then A scale Y cool so there and then rotate position it over here okay I actually have a white keyboard don't know why I got a white keyboard when it doesn't match my setup but whatever uh, actually I think that's too short yeah and then go add a plane this is going to be for a mouse pad. So I have a big mouse pad. Uh, GZ snap. GY scale X. Uh, select this. And then add a solidifier. Okay. So for this table, I'm going to make its own material and make it a like low roughness because the table's not that rough. It's like very rough. And then this one is going to be black, but fully rough. Like that, okay. There, and then we can go add a cube. It's going to be for a mouse. So just G, Z, and then A, S, X. Add edge loop, scale, Y, G, X, G, Z, G, Z. Give another thing and then if we want to add in some cables all you can have to do is just go uh, add a curve bezier edit mode and then we can just start positioning the cable go to here and then you can even subdivide it just like that okay and then go to here change the geometry the uh, depth slightly and then the resolution preview okay and then change the resolution here okay there's one cable shift D and then just change the end drag it over to the keyboard okay we can probably change the depth of this uh, quite a bit and then change this mouse cable make it black drag it up as well and then it also has some RGB on it. So I'm just going to go here. And then press the plus. Give it a new uh, mission sun. I like orange. And then this also does have RGB. This inset. And then let's go shift D, P. And then this one underneath, extrude down. And then this is going to have an RGB, uh, what's it, uh, same orange color, sun. This top one, scale it down. And then S, Y. And then. Oh. So we can see, we need to just have a new slot. And then control R, sun. Okay. And then maybe just cut a couple holes in it like that. And then like one. So we're just going to go bevel these. 
and then go X face, doesn't really matter, whatever. Okay, and then for curtains, we're going to add a plane, R, X, 90, uh, bar, go top view, G, scale, scale bar, G, just extrude, give it some detail, scale Z, that, okay, and then stratify, shift D, Y, and then control M, Y, and then G, Y, all the way to the edge, I'm going to go scale this up, make it like smoother, and then I'm actually just going to add a couple edge loops down and then uh, go to proportional editing, change it to random and then you can just G, give it some random position let's just change it to smooth as well so you can just change the general position more okay and then let's give it like a grey texture okay there okay and then yeah so next off what should we add how long is the video so let's go add a I'm just going to add a bedside table, the G, Z, G, Z, K, L, X, and then R, actually, there, R, uh, I believe it's I again, or individual, and then just extrude out, and then go add a circle, yeah, some six, so here, G, Z, extrude, go to vertex, extrude, Z, extrude, uh, extrude, Z, S Turn off proportion editing, scale, okay, and then extrude, scale shift Z, control R, okay, like this, and then just extrude, scale, extrude, scale. So select all of these, scale down, yeah, uh, X spaces, and then actually, let's just keep that, shift uh, Y to separate it. And G, drag it down, scale, and then uh, add a, uh, firstly add one texture, then add a new one, and then we're going to make this an uh, orange uh, mission. And then I'm also going to add a point and put it in there. And I'll secure the orange like that, okay? And then the base, or we'll just make it like a grey, as yeah, like a metal, I'll make it a bit lighter, make a new material. That's going to be actually this fun. Okay. I'm going to scale this up a bit. Uh, make the base a bit smaller. Deselect this base uh, part over here. Sh scale shift Z. And then maybe we rotate Z like this. And then I uh, usually have like one light up here. I'm going to go add a mesh circle. Rotate Y 90. G. Scale up G Z. And it's a ring light. So I'm going to scale in. And then add a solidifier. And then I'm gonna give it a mission. And then actually, I'm gonna go make the uh, make a new material, make it black, and then go to materials, material offset, change it to one, uh, room, change it to one as well, and then rotate, position it like this, so there, okay, and then actually, it rotates it like this, okay. And then just add a circle, scale down. Okay, cool. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to change the film. Or actually, we can just go add a mesh plane. Drag it behind, uh, like this. Change it to uh, add object constraint. Copy rotation to the camera. Okay. And then you can just go scale it up. And then now you can just go change color. And you just add a emission. Set it to like one and then make it whatever you color you want. Let's make it like a dark like that. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna make this light over here and also orange. Okay. And there you go. Cheers. Yo guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's very long, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the final results. And if you have, make sure to like and subscribe for more audio videos on stuff like this. Cheers.